hey y'all it's me key welcome back to my channel today i have another story time for y'all of course um if you haven't already please like comment subscribe and share this story time so this story time is going to be about the time that i got flewed out and it was completely horrible okay so let's get into the story so we're going to start from the very beginning because this involves a new person that was in my life and it does involve someone else I've mentioned from a past story time. I gave him the name Predator. So Predator was the one that I was with when I found out that I was a side chick and I tried to put sugar in his thing. So if you haven't seen that story time already, go ahead and watch it y'all. Okay, so let's go back to the very beginning. So this was a time when like I was completely done with Predator. Like I let the other girl have him and I went back home to Arizona. Predator had called me and he, he was basically saying how the girl that he was with, you know, she was doing him bad because he lost his job and he didn't have no way to buy food. Like she would go get groceries and basically tell him that he can't touch shit in her house. So he was like, can he come to Arizona and he'll help me and he just wants to, you know, get back on his feet. But my first thought was like, why don't you just go back home to your family? Like, why call me and why you want to move to a state that you ain't never lived in before? The easiest thing for you to do is just go back home to your family. So I was thinking, hell no. But I thought about it. I'm like, he was there for me like a lot of the times, you know. So I let him come to Arizona. Stupid, right? Yeah. So I let him come to Arizona. <laughs> okay, so he got came to Arizona, right? And he was probably there less than a week. And I'm finna tell y'all why. So when he comes, like, I put him on some job leaves. He gets a job immediately. Like, he starts, like, two days after he moves to Arizona. Y'all, so when he came to Arizona, I made it very clear that we're not together. We just gonna help each other. And if you want to date, you know, I don't care. Just stay out of my business. And he slept on the couch. We did not sleep together. Nothing. Like, it was no, you know, no involvement whatsoever. Like, no romantic involvement. One day when he was getting ready for work, so I was telling Predator before he went off to work that I'm going to go to the mall and exchange my daughter's shoes. And I'll probably be back before he got off work. And y'all, I don't even know why I have to explain myself to him because he's not my man. Like, but he just thought he should know my every move for whatever reason, y'all. So I let him know that and he was like, okay, cool. So, okay, y'all, so I'm at the mall. I'm exchanging my daughter's shoes and I just thought I might as well do some shopping while I'm here. So I go to another shoe store because it was some shoes that I wanted. And while I'm in the shoe store, I see this dude in there. Like I'm instantly attracted to him. Like he's my type or whatever. Like I see him, but I don't see anything because I don't never approach a, a man. That's that's not me. But yeah, so we in this in the store for a good minute. Like he trying to, I see that he's trying on shoes too, and I'm trying on my shoes. So he had he was obviously in there before I went in the store, and he had paid for his shoes. And then once he paid for his shoes, he walked over towards me while I'm still trying on my shoes. And then like you know he struck up a conversation. Basically, he just, you know, he wants to talk to me, get my number, you know, the usual. We're not going to get into too much of that because it's like really pointless. It's really nothing. We're going to call him Chris. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Things move very, very, very fast with Chris. Things move so fast. So let's fast forward to, I'm not even going to lie. Like right after that, we went out to eat. Like it was weird. Like he was just like, you hungry? I'm like, yeah. So we went out to eat that day. Uh, we went to IHOP because it was still kind of early and i love ihop's omelets like people say ihop bullshit but i love ihop's omelets and that's where i want to go so that's where he took me and so i went back home like we spent the whole the rest of the day together and i was just like i gotta go home so i went back home and it's been at like a few hours by the time i got home like it's a few hours now we chilling you know predator he's back at my house we just chilling or whatever so i pulled out my leftover ihop from out the refrigerator and I go to warm it up and then Predator's just like, you went out to eat? I'm like, yeah. He was like, he had this stank ass look on his face and he didn't ask me no questions. He was just like, you went out to eat? You know, just like that. And that was that. But the look on his face, I knew what was up. This man finna try to give me problems. So the very next day, y'all, I get up early because 
Chris, he wants to hang out and he said he wanted to see me early in the morning because we can do breakfast. You know, we could just start our day early. So I get up early and then Predator, I don't know, he was supposed to be up by the time I was getting dressed for, you know, to head out, but he was just laying there and I'm like, you're not going to work. And y'all like, this is probably his second or third day. And then he was telling me, oh no, I woke up too early. Y'all, he has to be at work at 6. It's only 7 o'clock. I'm like, you can still make it. He was just like, no, no, it's it's too late. I can't go. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, no, bitch, you just want to stay here and be in my business. And I'm not stupid. So he was just like, where are you going? It's early. Like, why are you getting dressed so early? I'm like, I'm going to the doctor. And I knew to lie to say that I was going to the doctor. So Predator went and tried to come with me because he just thought he had to go everywhere that I went. And by this time, and him and that that bitch they was back cool and i'm calling her that bitch because we had some words obviously but yeah so him and the bitch was cool already i'm thinking to myself why don't he just take his weird ass back home like he's so busy up my ass he needs to be up her ass like this is not my man you know i'm tired of him he was just really getting on my nerves so i had to make up a lie so i can go do something by myself so he was just like oh okay so i went off to hang out with chris so y'all, we went out to eat. We was doing like, y'all know those, um, what's it called? Those electric scooters. We went to this really big park and they had those electric scooters. Like we rode those, I know, childish, right? But it was fun, I don't care, it was fun. Like we did that and we just chilled at the park. We talked because he was like, he was only visiting Arizona. He didn't live out there, he was just visiting. He was visiting his, um, his, his dad. So he was staying at like this Airbnb and like the airbnb that he was staying at was had a really big park next to it so we were just over there like chilling talking and getting to know each other like having a good time and we had set a day to go to the movies so like i'm with him the entire day i'm with him like not the entire day but like i said i had got up early in the morning and i left out i was probably with him until like around two or three and like the whole time I'm gone, Predator is just blowing up my phone. I guess I was only supposed to be gone two hours and I was supposed to come back because that's when he started calling me like two hours after I left the house, like two, three hours after I left the house. So he said he blowing up my phone and I'm not answering the phone. I'm not texting him back nothing because like, what do you want? You're supposed to be at work, leave me alone. So Chris sees that somebody's blowing up my phone and he's just like, why are you not answering your phone? And I'm telling him, well, I was completely honest with him. I'm just telling him, like, my ex is staying at my house because he's going through something with his girlfriend. And he just says he needs to get on his feet. He's going to be working, blah, blah, blah. I gave him the whole rundown. And he asked me, he was just straight up like, are you still sleeping with him? And I'm like, no, we don't do anything. I have not slept with him in a long time. And then he was just like, okay. But I mean, it don't really seem that way because he said he's blowing up your phone. Why don't you just answer it? And I'm like, okay, I'll, yeah, I'll answer it. So I answer the phone and y'all, Predator is just going off. He was just like, you said you were going to the doctor. You're not here. You're out being, you're out with a nigga. I know you're out with a nigga, blah, 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 blah. Like basically talking to me like I'm cheating on him. And that's not even the case because you and I have not been together in a long time. Like, did you forget? Uh, I was your whole side chick unbeknownst to me. Did you forget about that? Like, who, who the fuck is you? So, I'm just telling him, like, no, it's not even like that. Like, I'm lying to him only because, like, I don't feel like fighting with this man. But if anything, like, he can just go the fuck back home to his bitch. I was just so irritated because I'm like, damn, he's ruining it with, with Chris. Like, Chris is not going to want to talk to me because he probably think that I'm dealing with this dude. And yeah. So y'all, I'm just like, I gotta get this this weirdo about my house. So I get off the phone with Predator and like me and Chris, like it's later on in the day, it's probably like around two and we're gonna go out to eat again. And I'm trying to find us a place to go out to eat and y'all, Predator is just blowing on my phone. Like I was just very irritated. So I tell Chris, I'm like, hey, I'm gonna need to go back home. And he was just like, oh, because of dude. I'm like, yeah, like I gotta get him out of my house. He's like, you know, it's, it seems like it's going to be a problem. Do you want me to go with you? See, I love a man like that. You know, you are really willing to protect me. I love a man like that. Like, I hate a little, a little simp who don't, you know, who don't have your back. 
but I'm just telling Chris like, no, you don't, you don't need to come with me because I already know like Predator, he's he's crazy, he's crazy. Like I see him try to slam my baby daddy in the door, but my baby daddy he wasn't going for that shit, so he ain't too crazy. But I already know like Predator's gonna try to fight him, so I just tell Chris like, no, it's cool. I don't want you to be all up, you know, in that, and it's not even. It's nothing anyways because I don't deal with him. I just need to get him up out of my house. And he was like, okay, well, yeah, if you need me to go, I'll go with you. But I'm like, no, it's cool. So I took Chris back to his Airbnb and I went all the way home. And so when I pull up, like, the whole, still the whole time I'm going home, Predator is texting my phone talking shit. Like, I still have some text messages from that nigga on my phone. Like, I might post them and I might not, I don't know, because he was saying some crazy shit. Like, Why is this man even hurt? Like, he's obviously hurt, but for what though? Me and him is not together. So, yeah, he's just saying some crazy shit and calling me the whole time. Like, I just said, fuck it. I picked up that phone. I, I read this nigga's rights. Like, if I told y'all what I was saying to this nigga, y'all gonna be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Girl, you, you was crazy. Yeah, he had me fucked up that day. So, yeah, when I get home, I walk in the house and I see he's just sitting at the table, you know, uh, eating or whatever and I said come outside so I'm just like come outside come talk to me outside and then so when we walk outside he's gonna try to laugh and start hugging me I said uh-uh get the fuck off me and then he was just like what I'm like bitch you know what like you're texting my phone talking all that shit calling my phone talking all that shit you know what the fuck you said he's just like yeah but I'm just thinking like you're out with niggas and this is I'm like it don't matter me and you not even together you got a whole bitch in Vegas why don't you matter of fact get your shit and go back home he was just like what like so you're kicking me out yes i am because you're doing the most for nothing me and you have not been together in a long time like i never said when you come out here we was gonna be together your drama you need to be worried about your next meal not who i'm talking to so yeah it was a big thing he kept his stuff outside in his car but i guess he had something he wants to grab out the house we went back in the house and he was doing the most like he started talking shit he was being real disrespectful calling me out my name in front of my family he was just doing a lot and then he had said some what this nigga say he gonna tell me yeah i should have let my bitch beat your ass back in vegas i thought to myself like this was after the fact because i reacted first y'all i'm gonna tell y'all what i did but i thought to myself like after the fact for one she wasn't gonna she wasn't beating my ass for two you want her to fight me because you're cheating on her with me and i don't know about it we both don't know about it so what sense did that make like and y'all but y'all when he said that i should have my bitch beat your ass i had like this <laughs> i had some keys like i have my car keys and i had like hella keys on my keychain i just took my keychain and i just boom just hit him in the face with it because who the fuck is you talking to like that there's probably like 10 keys on the keychain i just took all my keys and i hit him in the face with my keys like you're not gonna keep disrespecting me and yeah he was mad about that but what you gonna do what you gonna do go fuck around and get jumped up in here yeah what you gonna do so he was just, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, you want to do, okay, okay, yeah. And I know you don't even have no gas money to get back to Vegas, so make sure you call your bitch and tell her you're going to need some gas because you're coming home. So, yeah, he has to get his shit and he has to leave. So after that, <laughs> after that, like, I'm just relieved because he finally left. Of course, he was trying to hit me up on Snapchat. He was messaging me on Facebook. Like, I had blocked his number. I just didn't want no parts of him at all because like I said he was a predator he did me wrong so yeah back to Chris y'all so me and Chris like I said we moved really really fast <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie we probably didn't even know each other for two weeks two weeks and he had already asked me hey you want to go out of town with me I'm like yeah <laughs> I want to go because he was like I'll pay for everything you just you know you just bring yourself bring your stuff I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah, I want to go out of town. So he was just like, we're just, we're just going to go to Vegas. I'm like, damn, Vegas. Like, I was just out there like shit. 
but whatever i mean he paying for everything he gonna show me a good time and i needed this um, i need to be around good people with good energy good vibe that's what chris was like he was fun i'm not even gonna lie chris started showing me red flags too because when we first hung out he had asked me how old i was and i was uh, i told him my age i was in my 20s at the time i told him my age and i was like how old are you he was like oh i'm 30. so right after that we had went to the store and he was buying some alcohol and the cashier was like let me see your id no the cashier was like when's your birthday so i can punch it in and he said his birthday in the year. And I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, like, this man lied to me. He told me that he was 30. This man was almost 40 years old, y'all. And, like, that's not even a big thing. But why are you lying about your age? I mean, he clearly didn't look like he was almost 40. But I'm like, if he lies about something so stupid like that, like, what the hell else is he going to lie about? But me being me, you know, I still... <laughs> I still dealt with him because, hey, yeah, I'm young and I'm dumb, so. Okay, so it's time for us to go to Vegas. Chris had went to Cali, but he was just telling me, like, hey, we still, you know, good for Vegas. Like, I just came out to Cali for a little while, but I still want to go to Vegas with you. I still want to take you out of town. And I'm just like, yeah, we, like, we still good. So the morning of, like, I got all my stuff packed. I'm ready to drive to Vegas. And I talked to Chris early that morning. He was just like, I'm about to get on the flight. I'm about to get on the plane to Vegas. Um, he's just telling me like when his flight lands, when he gonna leave, when his flight lands, all that good stuff. So I'm like, okay, <clears throat> well, I'm about to get on the road right now. Like I didn't mind driving because like I used to drive back and forth to Vegas all the time, like from Vegas to Arizona, like every damn week. So I didn't mind driving. I love being on the road. So yeah. If I drove, we wouldn't have to, you know, get a rental car. So I was cool with driving my car. So we get to Vegas, y'all. He gave us an Airbnb. Like, we're having a good time. Like, I'm just like, I really needed this. Like, I've been around this lo loser, lame-ass nigga for a minute. And I have not been able to, like, enjoy myself. Like, I was miserable for so long. I'm around somebody else. And I'm just happy. Like, y'all, we went to Vegas at least three times together. So every time we went to Vegas, it was cool. Like, I didn't have no problems with him. Everything was perfect, you know. And I had been talking to Chris for a couple months. And I'm just, you know, of course, I'm thinking I'm in love. Even though he lied to me about his age, I'm in love. And it's going to be my man. And we're going to have a whole bunch of kids together. And we're going to get married, right? Right. Okay. So I remember this was All-Star Weekend, y'all. This was All-Star Weekend. And I remember he was telling me he had to go back to New York or whatever because Chris had kids and he had to go check on his kids. But he was telling me like, hey, he wants to go to Atlanta for All-Star Weekend. And like Atlanta, how he was just telling me like how Atlanta was his second home and he's out there all the time because he has family there. And I'm like, okay, cool. So he was telling me like, do you want to go with me? I'm like, to Atlanta? Like I've never been there. But he was like, yeah, like, if you go, like, I'll pay for everything and you just got to show up. I don't know. Like, I've never been there. And that's kind of, it's not just like it's next door like Vegas is. This is kind of a ways, you know. I gave it some thought and I'm like, shit, I'm going to go. Like, if he's telling me he's going to pay for everything and all I got to do is show up like I usually do, I'm going. But to be safe, y'all, like, I had told my cousin and my sister, I'm like, hey, like, I'm going to Atlanta for all Star weekend. And, of course, like, my sister, she loves to travel. And she was like, I'm trying to go, too. But, like, she was just going to go with her friend and because she understood, like, I was going to be with Chris or whatever. And I told my cousin, I'm like, is you trying to roll, too? Like, if you do, if you do come, you could just stay with us because Chris had told me he's going to rent an Airbnb. Like, he's going to rent the whole house. So, like, I mean, if you want to come, you, there's extra rooms that you can stay in. So, she was just telling me, like, yeah, girl, I'm going to go with you. We shopping. Like, this is probably a week before we go to atlanta like he had bought my plane ticket she bought hers y'all she bought her plane ticket so we're just shopping and like buying luggage and you know just getting our hair done we getting ready for atlanta and y'all i do got pics i i might post <laughs> i might post these pictures <laughs> i don't know but yeah just know i got some i got some you know just know i got some pictures from all-star weekend and i might post them i might not i don't know yet but anyway so yeah, so we getting ready and, you know, I'm, you know, still communicating with Chris and he just told me, you know, 
you you still good to go like i know you got your ticket already but i just want to make sure you still okay to go i'm like yeah like everything's cool like i'm still gonna i'm still going to atlanta and my sister's going and my cousin she gonna come too he's like okay cool because i got a whole bunch of friends and yeah i'm like okay cool so yeah we gonna turn up so it's time like y'all it's the day for me to go to atlanta it's a day for me to catch my flight so i call my cousin y'all as i'm getting ready my stuff's already packed i call my cousin i'm like um i'm about to be on my way to pick you up so we can catch our flight y'all know what this bitch tell me <laughs> she gonna say oh i'm sorry cousin i can't go huh so you didn't think to tell me this the night before you wait until i'm finna get in the car to pick you up that's when you wait to tell me that you're not going to atlanta she's like yeah i'm sorry um i couldn't get a babysitter i'm like wow you knew this whole time you couldn't get no damn babysitter so she spent money on a ticket for nothing so i had to go catch that that damn flight by myself like my sister she was going but she was catching her plane at a different time because she had to work so yeah i'm catching that plane by myself and i hadn't been on a plane since i was a little girl y'all um so me getting on the plane now it's just all new to me like i don't know what to expect i'm scared for my life but i did it <laughs> i did it i got on that damn plane i don't know what i was doing but you know i was on the phone with my dad the whole time he was just coaching me you know told me where to go and this is that. so it was okay it wasn't too bad and so i land y'all i finally land in atlanta i land and like y'all <sighs> immediately I can see it's already gonna be bullshit because Chris had to have his friend like Chris he don't drive so he has to have his um his friends drive him around so I'm waiting for Chris and his friend I'm waiting for like probably a good hour like I'm just on the phone with my cousin you know just telling her like what's going on just so I have somebody to talk to and I don't look lost, y'all. Chris finally pulls up and then I'm thinking he's going to get out the car, you know, hug me, this, this, and that. He just sits in the car and he was just like, uh, get in. I'm like, you're not going to get out and put my stuff in the car? He's like, no, just throw it in there. I'm like, the fuck? Okay. So I go put my stuff in a trunk and I just hop in the back seat. So we go to the Airbnb and... Chris is just telling me, like, um, if you want to go out, you need to go go in the house and change, and we we just finna head out right now. I'm like, okay, well, I need to go take a shower first because I was just on the plane for, like, all, like four and a half hours. Like, I need to get ready. It's going to take me some time. He was like, well, my friend's trying to leave now. You might as well just come on. Like, why would I just leave and go out? First of all, I've never been to Atlanta. It's All-Star Weekend. I'm not trying to be outside looking stupid as hell. Y'all, I had on some leggings, some tennis shoes, and a Nike sweatshirt. And I had my damn, my, like, my hair was done, but I needed to, like, wet it and some more shit. Like, I had some deep wave curly hair, and I needed to wet it. Like, I need to juice my shit up. And plus, I had, like, a damn rag on. Like, I need to lay down my, my edges and some more shit. Like, no. And I still need to do my eyebrows. Like, no. Like, why are you trying to make me come outside? I'm not even ready. Like, you, you sound dumb as hell. Like, let me get dressed. So, I go in the house, and I'm trying to hurry up and get dressed. And then, listen, he just instantly, like, he's acting different already, y'all. He's acting different. Like, he's just, he's acting like, he's just giving we not to, well, I mean, I'm not going to say he's giving we're not together because we never really established that we were together in a relationship. We just, you know, we just fuck with each other and that's what it was. So, but it wasn't given that he fucked with me though. You know, if, if that makes sense, it wasn't given that he fucked with me. So... It's just a little shit he was doing and saying like he was just real standoffish and i don't know it was just he wasn't giving that energy that i was so used to y'all know what i'm saying right you know when somebody fuck with you versus when they not fucking with you so yeah that's what he was giving so i'm like okay the fuck like why he acting so weird and then he was just kept telling me like um yeah i got this airbnb for you yeah i'm i'm not staying here i just got it from i just got it for you i'm like okay so where are you gonna stay he was just like well I'm, I'm gonna stay with the homie not the homie that drove us to the airbnb but with somebody else and y'all gonna see what y'all gonna see who this homie is okay so i'm like i guess like i don't give a fuck 
like me, I'm not gonna be pressed over no nigga. Like, if you gonna fuck with me, cool. But if not, oh fucking well. So we ended up not going out because I guess I didn't get dressed quick enough for him. Like, I don't see why he just didn't, you know, tell ask dude to wait because dude was just like he's ready to go now, and they already dressed and they don't really want to wait for me. So he left. So I'm just like okay well whatever like i mean chris you can go if you want to because by by then like he was getting on my nerves like i was already irritated so i'm like you ain't gotta be around me like you said you got this airbnb for me go ahead and go hang out so chris i guess he didn't like that and he was just like no i'm not gonna go if you're not gonna go no nah, bitch go the fuck no i'm not gonna go if you're not gonna go so we we both stayed at the house and so like later on that day like he was still being weird like he was just being like real distant remind you it's other empty rooms in the house because he rented out the whole house so like there was upstairs and there was downstairs and i already you know chose my room like he said he got the airbnb for me so this is my room if you want to go in another room go ahead so i'm laying in the bed you know just on my phone talking to my cousin and like he was in a room with me real late so i turned off the light and i told my cousin hey i'm gonna go to sleep so I'm in the bed um, watching a movie on my phone. I think I was watching Chicago. Y'all remember that movie, Chicago? But I was watching Chicago until I fell asleep. And y'all, I'm laying under the blanket. And Chris is sitting, still sitting at the end of the bed. So I'm just laying there watching Chicago. And Chris just gets up and leaves the room. And he closes the door behind him. I hear some people in the house. I'm like, what the hell is going on? And y'all... I'm not dressed to see nobody like I was in some little teeny ass shorts and a t-shirt I was not you know prepared or dressed to be around nobody so I'm just like damn like I hope I hope this dumbass don't bring these people upstairs in my room and what does a dumbass nigga do he brings insane people upstairs in the room where I am I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with him? Like, okay, so in the room that I was using, like, it was a bed, it was a TV, and then on the side, it was a like a um, it was a couch. So he brings them in the room. Remind you, it's other empty rooms. I don't know why he would bring them people in the room that I was staying in, but he did. Like, I don't know these people. He brought them in the room. It was a girl in the dude. I guess it was his best friend, another nigga. Like, it was another dude and this girl. So they just sit on the couch. And then I'm like, what the hell? And Chris, he cuts the light on. I'm like, what the fuck? And he was just like, oh, yeah, um, this is Key. Key, this, this is my homie. And this is, he didn't even know who the girl was. So he was just like, um, what's your name? And she was like, my name's so-and-so. I'm like, okay. And I lay back down. But I'm like, this is really awkward. Like, I felt very uncomfortable. So I just get up and I go downstairs. Like, it's a whole, like, living room and... It was like three living rooms and then in one living room it was just it was just all carpet like no furniture was in there i went downstairs and i went to that living room and i laid down on the floor and was just on my phone and like 15 20 minutes go by and chris comes downstairs he's looking for me and then he's like he's calling my name but i ain't saying shit. i'm like this this is weird like it was already weird and i haven't even been there for a whole day i'm like yeah Oh no, I think I should go home. Just think to myself, like, I think I should go home because this is it's giving very much weird. And I'm not I don't I don't do weird, y'all. So he finds me, he's just like, What are you doing? Like, why are you down here? I'm like, I'm just chilling. He's like, Why are you on the floor? I'm like, Because I wanna lay down on the floor. The fuck? There's nothing wrong with me laying on the floor. He was like, Well, go back upstairs and get in the bed. I'm like, no like i don't know those people you didn't even tell me that somebody was coming over you didn't even ask me if they can come in the same room that i'm laying in like why would you bring them up there like no y'all got it and the girl she had grabbed her blanket and she was she had fell asleep on the couch in my room i'm like yeah no i i don't mm -mm. I don't feel comfortable and I'm cool. Like, I ain't say anything to you. You can go back up there with your friends and y'all do what y'all do. Like, I'm cool. I don't even know why you came down here looking for me because you you being, you being giving weird anyways. Like, I'm not finna hold my tongue. I, I'll let him know, like, right off the back, you're, you're being weird and I ain't got time for that shit. So he was just like, no, no, like, I'm gonna make them leave. I'm gonna make them leave and you come back upstairs. So I'm like, whatever, you don't have to, but I'm, I'm cool, you know? So he goes back upstairs and he tells them like y'all need to go in another room because this is where she's staying and 
So he comes back downstairs and he was just like, well, I made them get out the room. Like, you can come back upstairs. I'm like, no, I'm cool. So his friends, like his best friend and the girl that he was with, they, I guess they get up and they leave. And then he was just like, well, they left. Like, can you come back upstairs? And I went back upstairs and I lay down. Chris was just like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, ain't nothing wrong with me. You're just being weird. And I ain't got time for it. Plus, I'm hungry. You ain't even fed me nothing. Order me some food. He ordered like these Philly cheesesteaks and some hot wings and fries. So, like, I'm cool now because I done got something to eat. And, like, he started to be cool. Like, he started to be the Chris that I had met, you know. Or maybe this is how he was, you know. Maybe he was putting on the front when I met him. But this is how the man really was. Weird. So, y'all, the next day, like, we had a good day, like, the whole day. Um, He was still being low-key weird. This one really pissed me off about him. We had went to the Dollar Tree to get some paper plates because he wanted to have a cookout. I guess he wanted to throw something on the ground. But when he was paying for his stuff, like, when he was paying for, like, the paper plates and cups and shit like that, it was this black older lady. She was ringing us up. And she, he was so fucking rude to her. He embarrassed the hell out of me because he was so damn rude to this lady. And... I just was like, wow, like, this is how you, you treat, you know, elderly women who, she didn't even do shit to you. And she was just looking at me. She was like, she asked me, she said, this is your boyfriend? And I was just like, y'all, I just put my head down because I was ashamed. I was ashamed to even claim that nigga. And he was acting like that. He was treating that lady like that. I was ashamed, y'all. I ain't even gonna lie. And then she was just like... And I went outside and I told that bitch about himself. I said, I was like, why did you treat that lady like that? You're weird as fuck. Like, it seemed to me like he was trying to show out. You know, when he got around his friends, he was just like this totally different person. He was a, he was rude as hell. He was so arrogant. He was so aggressive. He was so rude. And I just did not like that about him. I had never seen that side. And that made me not want to fuck with him. I told myself, when I go back home to Arizona, I'm blocking this nigga. You know, that's that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish out this trip, this free trip, and I'm going to block this nigga when I go home. Y'all, fast forward the whole cookout. Like, that was, it was nothing. Like, we just cook. You know, he invited some people over, and that's just what it was. So, y'all, later on that day, later on that day, okay, remind y'all, remember when I said he said he wasn't going to be staying at the Airbnb? He was going to be staying somewhere else? okay but he stayed at the airbnb so he had told me he needed to grab some more clothes and his clothes was at his homie house so we go all the way to his homie house and then when his homie opens the door it's a it's a woman so i'm like this is the homie he's like yeah this is my homie you know um he introduced us and and i go like she was real cool like she was cool as hell and she was like hey girl like you cute or whatever um I, but i see you ain't got no lashes on so she was like yeah i do hair i do makeup or whatever i have some lashes in the back if you want to go put some on i was like okay cool so i go in the back and i'm i'm like you know try to put some lashes on i have some long ass nails i don't know how the hell i was trying to put on some lashes with some long nails and y'all I can't even really put on lashes that good in no way. So I'm um, I'm in the mirror trying to put my lashes on. And he all out there with her. And he just leaves. I guess he went to his friend's house because his best friend had lit. He she lived his best friend that was at the Airbnb earlier, well, the day before, he lived across the street from um the girl from the lady i'm just in the house i'm talking to her and then she was just telling me like hey like what have you done so far since you've been here oh yeah and i forgot like so this is what happened like i told her i'm like yeah i was trying to go see boosie yeah me and my sister have bought tickets to go see boosie and i'm telling um chris i'm like i'm trying to go see boosie but he's telling me like why would you buy tickets because look we had talked about this before i even got to atlanta like i'm like i'm trying to go see boosie i'm in love with him and that's what i want to go do if i don't do nothing else i want to go see boosie but he he didn't want to go. I'm like, okay, well, just because he ain't going does not mean that I can't go. My sister and my cousin is going to come. I could just buy a ticket and go with them. So, y'all, so it's time for me to go see Boosie. And then Chris was just telling me, like, why would you buy a ticket to go see Boosie? And you know I didn't want you to go. Huh? No, 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 nigga. I knew that you didn't want to go. You didn't tell me that you didn't want me to go. You said that you didn't want to go. That don't mean that I can't go. But y'all, he didn't he did not want me to go see Boosie, so I didn't go. Like I should have made that nigga reimburse me for my my money for that ticket. I ended up getting my money back anyways, but still like, what's your problem? Why don't you want me to go see Boosie? So he was just being like low-key controlling. So yeah, I'm just telling her, like, yeah, I'm trying to go see I was trying to go see Boosie, but Chris was acting all weird. And she gonna ask me, she was like, Why was he acting weird? Cause you want to go see Boosie. Like, why he get mad? Why would he be mad about that? I'm like, 
I don't know, ask him. And I'm like, well, what you mean? Because it was giving like, why are you saying Chris getting mad that you want to go do something? That's what it was giving. So, and I'm just like, what you mean? And she was just like, well, well, why would he get mad that you want to go see Boosie? And I said, I don't know. He was just being jealous. And she was like, jealous? I'm like, yeah, he was being jealous. And I thought to myself, I said, what did Chris tell you about me? And she was just like, well, he was just telling me how he got his uh, best friend from New York was coming out here to Atlanta and that his other friend from, from Arizona was coming out here. I said, oh, so he told you I was his friend? She was like, yeah, he said y'all friends. I'm like, okay. Y'all, I have been dealing with, I have been dealing with Chris for a couple months now and we might not have been in a committed relationship but we definitely weren't just friends. We were obviously way more than that. Like this man, he taking me out on trips. He's spending all his money on me. Like we're doing dates We're, you know, we're having late nights in the jacuzzi. We spent Valentine's day together and some old shit. Like we were, you know, more than just friends. Like I said, Chris had left and when he came back, he was just like, so y'all ready to go? So we ended up leaving and we were, we were gonna go to this, uh, the strip club with, the girl so y'all we go to qt to go get some liquor or yeah we went he i don't know his dumb ass grabbed some wine out the damn qt and then we went to the liquor store and got some hennessy and he was just like um fuck i'm like what's wrong he was like i can't find the keys to the house i'm like wow so this dumb shit loses the keys well he thought he lost the keys to the house and then he was just like i can't go nowhere i can't go out and party if i don't have the house keys so we get out the car with her and then he was just trying to backtrack to see where he lost the keys and y'all he was being like rude as hell and i was irritated and i'm like i'm i'm not finna sit outside for this shit it's cold as hell i'm finna go back to the airbnb so i called me a lift and i left his motherfucking ass i went back to the airbnb and my sister she hit me up she's like what you doing tonight you trying to go out i'm like girl yes so i get back to the airbnb and this dumbass nigga leaves the damn keys in the room door so i'm like this this nigga is weird so he's texting and calling me the whole time I, i'm ignoring him because i'm just I'm, ugh, I'm irritated. I'm, I don't like his attitude and I'm trying to get ready to go out with my sister. So he shows up right when I call my lift to go meet up with my sister. Like she wants to come pick me up and I'm like, no, it's cool. Like, I don't want you to go out your way. I'm just catching lift to wherever you at. So right when I call my lift, this, this, ugh, this weirdo pulls up and he's just like, oh, so you was just going to leave me. You was just going to leave. Me. I'm like, well, I mean, you left me. <laughs> he didn't technically leave me. He was looking for the keys. I'm like, well, I don't know. Like, I want to go have some fun. Like, I ain't never been to Atlanta and it's All-Star Weekend. So, y'all, y'all know the, the niggas out. The niggas is out. I want to be outside. Like, if I don't, you know, if I don't be with Chris, I'm finna leave with some. <laughs> like, y'all, I'm finna leave with some. So, I go, I'm trying to leave and get dressed. Y'all, like, Chris, he's just doing the most. And I told him, like, you know, I found the keys. He left them here. He was just like, you should have told me that. He's just going off, y'all. He's like, and you're trying to leave me. You're trying to go out. This is not like, y'all, I kid you not. Me and this man argue. We argue about me going out with my sister for four hours. Four fucking hours we argued about this. I'm like, I'm exhausted. I'm tired of talking to you. I'm losing my voice at this point. I, I don't know, like... At this point, I really want to just pack up all my shit and go be with my sister. Like, I don't even want to be here with you no more type shit. I'm just over it. And the shit I heard early from old girl, like, I definitely am not trying to fuck with you no more. After that, we ended up, we just we just went to sleep. Like, we was just both tired. We had a long day and we argued for four hours. So, of course, we was exhausted, y'all. So, the next day, this is my last day in Atlanta. Like, the next day, um, he was just like... You know, since this is your last day here, you know, anything you want to do, I'm with it. Like, whatever you want to do, just tell me and I'll make it happen for you. So, when my sister, she's, she's telling me, like, it's this brunch. It's this trap brunch going on and I want to go. And he's like, okay, well, um, let me call the homies and we'll go. So, um, I'm in the bed, like, laying down or whatever. Like, it's the next morning. I'm in the bed laying down still. And y'all, Chris is trying to be cool. He, This man done came up with some breakfast. He done made me breakfast, bought me breakfast in bed. He's just being oh so sweet. And 
I'm just like, yeah, what this nigga on? Because what? Because what, why? Like, he just being oh so sweet. And then, like, I hear some people downstairs. It's his other best friend. And he got this girl with him. But the girl, she, like, she was cool as hell. The vibe was completely different the last day I was there. Like, it was cool, you know? So, I get up. I get dressed. You know, I go downstairs and I meet everybody. And we head out. But first, we had to go get his other best friend. So we leave to go get his other best friend, like the car pack. We stop and do a little bit of shopping before we go to the uh, trap brunch or whatever the hell that shit was called. I can't remember what. We leave. Um, we shop a little bit and then we leave and then head to the um, the place. But y'all, like, I don't know why, for whatever reason, his mom, she wants to go too. So, yeah, his mom, she lived out there, and she wants to go, too. So, she followed us up there to the place. And, y'all, on the way there, he's giving his mom directions, and, like, she gets lost. So, when we finally get there, and his mom, she's not there, he's yelling at me because his mom, she got lost. And, like, you're blaming me because your mama got lost. Like, it didn't make no sense. Like, he was just doing the most. Be mad that your mama can't take direction. Don't be mad at me because you was trying to give her directions and she got lost. Like, that, it made no sense. Like, he just telling me, yeah, my mom, she's lost now. She's lost. And blah, blah. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong? He's weird. Like, I think he, I ain't even gonna say what I want to say. But I'm like, he's weird as hell. Like, why is you taking it out on me that your mama got lost? She shouldn't be here in the first fucking place. She's elderly. She needs to be at somewhere in the goddamn house. But, yeah, like, he just mad at me because she got lost. And I don't know, like, I don't give a fuck. That ain't got shit to do with me, no ways. But we get out the car, and we're heading up to the place. And my sister's there. Like, I see somebody I, I know. My sister's just telling me, like, girl, yeah, I'm already up in here. But she came outside, and she was like, um, I'm cool with the security. He said, you can just come on in. And, but, um, I was just going to say his name. So, Chris is standing in line with all his friends and then she was just like well i can let them in too but they y'all to get in it was 60 dollars per person but um she was just telling me how security said that if you know they just pay a hundred dollars they just sign him a hundred dollars he'll let them in versus paying 60 dollars per person because it was a lot of us we came two cars deep and then like i'm telling you know chris and his friends well not chris because chris i don't know he's just walking around doing whatever like after waiting in line for so long he's just walking around doing whatever probably probably talking to bitches who knows but yeah i'm just telling his friends i'm like you know you slide the security hundred dollars he'll let you in and y'all they didn't even have a hundred dollars so i'm like what the fuck did y'all come for and then they were just like well chris said he's paying for everybody <laughs> like go ask him uh for the hundred dollars so we can get in i'm like i don't even know where chris is at i ain't worried about him i'm finally outside around other people who aren't fucking weird and i'm with my sister i don't give a fuck so chris's friends they're ready to go and i'm telling my sister i'm like well i know you know they're not gonna have this for very much longer we're gonna just go find something else to do because we already got here kind of late she's like okay girl just let me know because there's a bunch of other things i'm trying to do before you know we catch our flight tomorrow i'll meet up with you later so i'm leaving with chris's friends and then like y'all i'm walking we're walking to the car and then one of Chris's friends, we gonna call him, let's just call him D. D's like, hey. So D is on the phone. He's like, hey, Chris wanna talk to you. So he hands me the phone. I'm like, hello. Y'all, Chris starts screaming at me. He's like, where the fuck you at? This, this, and that. I'm like, nigga, wait. He's like, bring your ass back across the street. <laughs> like he was literally screaming and barking on the goddamn phone I'm like boy like chill i gave you know his friend back and so i'm like here take this phone so i went back across the street i'm just like boy like you was m.i.a ain't no telling what you was doing Every, yeah i was gonna leave your motherfucking ass the fuck he was like well you came with me why is you leaving with them like i said you were m.i.a so the whole brunch thing is coming to an end like everybody's getting ready to leave and his mom, she has to give us a ride back to his friend's house because that's where everybody was at. And his mom, she lived right by them. So we get in the car with her. And like on the way to her house or his friend's house, like me and um me and Chris, we get into a real bad y'all. And like it was like he was trying to, you know, shot in front of his mom. But I had to let them know I don't give a fuck about you or your whack ass mama. I don't care. 
I'm, if you disrespecting me, I'm going to get twice as disrespectful. So I cussed him the fuck out in front of his mammy. And, and what the fuck she going to do? She can get cussed out. So I don't give a fuck about being in her car. I don't care. Like, y'all not fin to disrespect me and make me feel like, oh, because I'm by myself. I'm just this punk. No. 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 Yeah, and his mama didn't have nothing to say. Like, yeah, you see, I'm talking crazy to your son. You let your son talk to you crazy. But no, I ain't going for none of that. Yeah, and you can get some of this too if you want it. Like, the fuck? Because, like, when he was talking to me crazy in the car, she was, like, laughing and shit. Like, he, he, he. Like, it was cute or whatever. Like, girl, but I am not the one or the two. So, we get to her house and the friend, he isn't there yet. So, we have to wait at her house. And, like, her whole attitude had changed. Like, she was friendly once she seen me cuss out her damn son in front of her. So, me and her, we just talking. Like, I had asked her if I can go in her house and use the bathroom. She was real cool. She let me in her house, you know, showed me around. And then we just came outside and we were talking on the porch. And so, we talked for a good 10, 15 minutes. And I noticed, like, he is gone. So, I'm walking around looking for him. He's on the side of the house and he's on the phone. And he's, like, being real you know low-key about it i'm like who are you on the phone with and he was telling me he was on the phone with old girl from the house and he was like what did you tell her i'm like what the fuck you mean what i tell her i said what you tell her you told her we just friends i'm gonna stop the story here this story is very long like i'm gonna make a part two about the story and y'all gonna see how this man embarrassed me at the club how he was throwing my clothes everywhere how he was in there fighting y'all gonna see in the next story time y'all gonna see in part two for sure so yeah that's it for this story that's it for part one and i'll let you know all the details on part two so be ready be prepared for that and thank y'all so much for watching if you haven't already please like comment and subscribe